Hey, it's Dave from Road Rage Customs. I recently bought a 95 GMC Sonoma. It's a little beater truck to replace my daily driver that I recently towed. Needs a lot of work. Uh, should have quite a few GMC videos over the next few weeks or months or so showing uh, all the work that it needs. Uh, one of the obvious problems right now, one of my biggest concerns is the side mirror on the driver's side. It doesn't have one. The previous owner did me a favor and ordered me one. It does fit. put it in right but if you can see the mirror on the other side it's the wrong shape so I'm not going to use that I went ahead and got the right left one and I'm going to show you how to install it if you don't want to kill your battery while you're working on it with a door open take a wooden wedge shove it in here hold that switch closed as you can see, this truck's got all the options. Manual locks, manual windows. First thing you got to do is remove the window handle. It can be a little tricky. If you have the right tool, it's not too bad. Turn it where you can get to this side of the handle. Take the tool, slide it in. Handle comes right off. All that holds it on is this little clip right here. You can get that out with like a bent screwdriver, a pick, coat hanger, whatever you have, but these tools aren't very expensive. Remove this little panel inside the handle. Two 7mm screws inside of there. Remove those two screws with a 7mm. There's a plastic Phillips head screw behind the door handle. Remove the trim clip behind it. Pry off the trim from around the door handle. Now you can pry off the door panel. Now any of these extra trim clips that didn't come off with the door panel that are still stuck in the door need to be removed. Take the trim clips that were stuck in the door and reinstall them where they belong in the rear of the door panel. With the mirror in place, tighten the three nuts that hold it in. If you're in the same situation I was in and you didn't have an existing mirror or the hardware, the new mirror comes with no hardware. You have to buy a 5mm by 0.8 thread pitch nut. I have three nuts, three washers to install. Okay. Slide the door panel back on, align all the clips, and push them in. Install the trim around the door handle. Reinstall the screws in the door handle. Reinstall the cover over the screws. It just pushes straight in. If you have power locks and mirrors, this piece can be removed to get to the electrical connectors back behind it. It didn't have to come off on this one, but it did fall off while I was working on it. Reinstall the little trim clip and the plastic screw from the center of it. You can just push it straight in. With the wire clip reinstalled to the window handle, put the cover over it and reinstall it.
That's all it takes.